good afternoon welcome to a new vlog it is half past four very late in the day for me to start the vlog but um if you watch to the very end of the last vlog which included our complete bedroom makeover at george and petra's house we did a a total facelift of their master bedroom and um, you'll know that i ended that vlog this morning by showing you the almost finished version of their bedroom minus the wall lights so yes bit of a bit of a higgledy pickledy blog setup so we spent the morning down in or across in morton and marsh um helping p g with a little bit more moving in and we went to the lovely Fosway Garden Centre which is great it's got loads of bits at really good prices we're thinking next weekend we might help them put in a herbaceous border so I'll see if I can document that because we still get so many questions on um like how to how to start a herbaceous border gardening for beginners that kind of thing and P and G will literally be starting from um, a blank canvas, so that'll be really, really good fun. We grabbed some nice coffees from Otis and Bell. We grabbed some donuts from the roadside from Kate Latimer's stall, which is really lovely. Just like a cute little wooden shack on the Tottenham Road, um, and you can get flowers, fresh eggs, freshly baked donuts. So definitely one to add to your route if you are doing a little Cotswold weekend. Fresh donuts from 10:30 a.m. on Sundays. Yeah, and now we're back home again, so I really need to get my runner beans in the ground. So I'm going to do just an hour, I think, of gardening this afternoon, and then I want to do my nails again, because all this gardening, it's been about 10 days since I did this manicure, um, but I want to redo my nails this afternoon, and then have a very chilled afternoon. We also had PT this morning, so it's been it's been quite a long long day so far. We've got lot we've crammed lots in. And then tomorrow we've got a very um nice day planned. We are going for lunch with Ben and Robin and then another lunch, <laughs> a Sunday roast with George and Petra. So a weekend of loveliness basically, a very nice chilled one. So without further ado, I have just popped on my Beaufort and Blake kind of I would call this like a rugby shirt, this kind of pullover type thing. I was wearing a jumper from Under the Stories, but it had fluted sleeves, which is not ideal for gardening. And then my Holland Cooper sand coloured gilet, which is really lovely. Nice for a little extra layer of warmth. I did do a really nice Dyson um, bristle brush blow dry this morning but I also used a hair mask in the shower and when I use a hair mask my hair is almost too silky to hold a blow dry so it's got a nice bit of movement to it but alas we're going out into the greenhouse so I am just going to pull this into a bun instantly become a little pea head <laughs> might do a little bit of baking later as well I bought some elderflower cordial to do an elderflower and rhubarb cake, but we'll see. That is low on the priority list. <laughs> okay, hair in a bun. I'm gonna grab my barber jacket because it's still not that warm. Should change next week, so let's get out into the garden. Tiny little home update. We all know how Charlie loves to add dark brown antique furniture <laughs> into all the bedrooms. I do actually approve of these bedside tables, so I think they look really nice and a bit softer with the marble top. I was quite insistent that any new furniture in here had to have a marble top just to make it a little bit lighter and brighter. You'll be pleased to know that, oh, how cute is this? A little Shakespeare love poems book for our guests to peruse through. Some matches for the candles. They've got a nice diptyque big roses candle in here and a little charging block for the phones. What's in here? Any treats? No, just an empty cupboard. Yes, you'll be pleased to know that I don't think this is a commode, so no Victorian ladies or gentlemen have gone for a wee inside these bedside cupboards, unlike the bedside cupboards in the garden bedroom. I need to replace these roses because we've got Cat coming to stay here early next week. Um, and we've got the lovely Bamford diffusers in the guest bedrooms now. Charlie purchased a few of these. They sent us one and then we bought two more. <laughs> it's um, battery powered so you don't have any ugly wires. You can just charge them up. Don't think we've had to charge them yet to be honest. And I like that they've got that little glowing light down at the bottom there. 
And then we've just styled up this bedside table with some books, little pink Roberts radio, and the lampshades we always get so many questions on. They were from Etsy, I found them on Etsy, from two different sellers. They're actually really old M&S lampshades. Um, they're actually <laughs> different levels of being faded by the sun, so the one closest to me is more faded, but I think we were so lucky to find them. The cushions are Soho Home, I'll leave them linked down below if I can. And the bed linen is linen bundle. Don't know why I'm telling you where all this stuff is from. I think you guys might remember. Um, but yeah, still absolutely just adore this bedroom. It is, I think, my favourite. I was actually just looking at these, thinking what lovely colour the petals are. And um, I think I'm actually going to see if I can dry them out for our wedding confetti. Because... As you might remember last year, I started to save some of the rose petals and they've lasted really well. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna lay these out on, oh yeah, perfect, look at this. These will dry out just beautifully. I think if I put them in this, then they should have enough air circulation so they don't dry out strangely. so worth doing, you get so many petals from each rose. Well, there we go. That took me five or six minutes to just peel open um, probably about seven or eight of the rosebuds. They'd gone completely over, but as you can see, aside from a few little crispy bits, most of these petals are just absolutely perfect. Um, this is actually a contraption, like an old thing that's designed for sieving out garden soil and things like that. But I think the roses do need a little bit of air to be running through them so that they dry out nicely and don't go moldy. So I'll leave them on this and just give them a shake every morning when I come to um, water my plants here in the greenhouse. And because it gets so warm in here, and especially over the next couple of days, I think it's gonna get sunny. I'm hoping that these will dry out really perfectly. So I'm just gonna leave them here. Now I do have quite a few odd jobs I need to do in the greenhouse. I actually noticed this morning, my guard dogs are here. Dexie's looking a little bit like Maleficent with his current, current hairstyle. Yes, you are. I think there might be a church service in a minute, so I need to just crack on with something quietly in the greenhouse. Um, but yeah, I did notice, sadly, someone has come. When I say someone, I mean a blackbird, has come and um, dug up a few of my broad beans. There has been broad bean mass murder. So I'm going to, I'm gonna replant these. Um, what they do is they just put, pluck them out of the ground. I'm going to replant them and hope for the best and then I'm going to have to cloche them until they get a little bit uh, bigger. gardening but I always just look exhausted but it has turned into the loveliest evening I was planning on spending maximum an hour gardening but what time is it now <laughs> I did remember to take my watch off um, and put it in my pocket it's seven o'clock so I've been gardening <laughs> for nearly three hours that was not the plan but anyway um, I've been super productive 
and got loads and loads of potting done. Um, I brought this out with me because I always forget <laughs> to drink water when I come gardening. This is the massive ocean bottle. Um, I don't think it says how many litres it is, but it's brilliant because it keeps my water at the temperature that I like it and it's nice and big, so um, don't need to keep going in the house and refilling it. I could put a hot drink in here if I wanted to because it's got that snazzy top, which is like your coffee cup and then this is a thermos flask um, and Charlie and I pretty much exclusively use ocean bottle because you can stick them in the dishwasher which is just incredibly handy and I don't think any of our other bottles you can stick in the dishwasher and it's great for the environment they plant trees with every order this is not an ad <laughs> just a huge fan of ocean bottle um, and I think we have a discount code so I'll leave that linked down below lovely okay let me show you what i have done so we'll start off in here i think we're about to be joined by dexy hello my baby have you been watching football with your daddy have you what was the score is daddy happy or is daddy grumpy so um yes we used to have the ranunculus in the middle here but they actually i think the flowers started to get too heavy maybe i should have supported them because they started to snap weirdly so I've actually just snipped off all the blooms and all the buds and put them in these lovely bud vases and then I've planted the slightly now bedraggled looking um, ranunculus in the garden. Here are my lovely rose petals from earlier. This is the tray of bits which need um, putting into pots. A few of the bits which I picked up today, Nemesia. Um, I thought this was just absolutely beautiful what a lovely little flower this one's got loads of buds on it um it is called a campanula string bell sorry spring bell white aren't they just absolutely lovely these are mints which we had in the house and they've got a little bit leggy so tomorrow i will snip them down and put them into new um, pots mint will just keep on coming back so you can just pot it on when it gets like that i've got some more of the lanai and more geraniums and verbena over there so that is still my to-do list but this tray was completely full before and i have done a little bit of potting on uh, you will have seen a little close-up. I had to do a voiceover because there was a church service on literally meters away from our house. I did a little bit of pricking out of my kale um, and of my chard and of some lettuce and pak choy and all of that hard work is currently here. So I have done potting for all of these bits. I've been a very busy bee listening to the Gardener's World podcast doing all of this everything here in a plastic pot I am going to take care of for the next week until George and Petra move house and then I'm going to give to them. So they have got um, purple basil, they've got some red lettuce, they've got Asian greens, they have got pak choy, uh, rainbow chard, kale, more lettuce and a trailing nasturtium. So yeah I'll just keep it, keep, uh, keep it watered and looked after for another week or so and then I'll take that over to George and Petra's house. And then bits which I'm keeping, at least for now. I will definitely have too many tomatoes this season. This is a tomato that I bought from the Fosway Garden Centre today because I realised I hadn't actually grown any um, small ones because these are all going to be big tomatoes and I do like little small ones. A few more plants which I potted up and loads of my tomato seedlings I have pricked out. I also pricked out these tiny little rainbow chards into individual seed plugs so they should grow on big and strong. Um, a couple of basils and then more flowers which will hopefully be perfect for our wedding. And it's just turned into the most gorgeous evening. You'll have seen me doing some planting out of pak choy and sweet peas down there earlier. But yes, my goodness, been very, very productive. I just need to give everything here a water, put it all back into the greenhouse. Um, I need to water my dahlias actually in the cold frame. And then I'm gonna head inside and um, sort my nails out. Well, my darlings, I feel <laughs> and look quite bedraggled. I'm gonna have to put my entire outfit, including the gilet, in the wash because it is all completely covered in soil. How do I wash this? Ah, 30 degrees, amazing. Okay, I'm also going to cleanse my skin. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of LED tonight. Um, I might just have the LED mask on while I do my nails, because I love to multitask. But while I take off my makeup, let's see what I can watch. Okay, skin 
skincare done, um, I'll just share what I did in that little time lapse. Obviously face halo first, which I <laughs> I do try to get rid of 99% of my makeup with a face halo, including my mascara, and it does a pretty good job. Then I used, as always, my Aurelia Miracle Cleanser nearly out of this tub, but I think I've got a backup upstairs. Need to check that because can't live without it. Over exaggeration, but I love it. And then on my lashes, this is the Aurelia Conditioning Iron Lash Cleanser. I pop it on my reusable cotton pad and then hold it down for like five seconds and it removes anything that is left on my lashes and it's also very cleansing. So great for lash growth. I'm trying to take care of my lashes. I'm trying to sneak in for an LVL lash appointment next week, but we shall see. Then what did I do? Um, then I just used a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Toner. Running low on this one. I vary my toner depending on how quickly I'm going to then apply my Skin and Me. I wouldn't use that toner and then my Skin and Me straight away. I would only do this if I know there's going to be like at least an hour until my Skin and Me because this has got some very gentle actives in there. If I, in the mornings, I've been using this toner which is Clay de Peau and in the evenings when I'm going straight in with my Skin and Me, I use something really nice and natural like this Kiehl's Calendula Herbal extract toner on my face now uh, so yeah I did the Charlotte Tilbury toner and then I've just popped on some Sarah Chapman Skinesis intense hydrating booster I feel like my skin needs that after a few hours in the garden I'm going to put some LED I'm gonna put my LED mask on in a second and then I will pop on my skin and me and then like Half an hour later ish, I will do my evening skincare hydrating products. In the mornings, I'm using the Organic Pharmacy's incredible new serum. This is the Niacinamide Ultra 5 Serum. It's got five active ingredients, 5% uh, niacinamide. It's just amazing for skin texture and it's nearly, uh, I think it's like 94% natural, 87% organic or something like that. It's got vitamin C, it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got bacuchiol, and of course, um, Niacinamide, so it's just like the ultimate skin texture improver and also great for. Oh. Hello, darling. Hello. 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 Who's calling? Um, is ready, mate. Coming, mate. Coming, you todger. <laughs> oh, God. We are so weird. Um, yes, anti wrinkles, uh, reducing this appearance of the size of your um, pores, and generally just. Amazing. Anyway, my battery's flashing. Sounds like my dinner is ready, so I'm gonna go and enjoy some pasta. What do we have for dinner, darling? We have our weekly delivery of Nonatonda. Nonatonda. If you're watching Nonatonda, we would love to work with you because we <laughs> have been customers for nearly a year. Don't you love it when that happens? Well, that's how this industry, I think that's how people I think sometimes people forget that that's how we started mm. and hopefully how we've continued. Mm. We will sing and dance about brands we love, whether they've paid us, whether they want to pay us, whether they've refused to pay us. Mm. If it's a great product, a great service, a great we'll piece talk of about clothing, it. we'll talk about it. I think everyone thinks we're sponsored by Dalesford. <laughs> we should be. We should be. Smith or, you know, these are brands that we've shopped at or purchased authentically. Mm -hmm. In both George Smith and Dalesford's cases, they then appreciated the features mm -hmm. and got in touch and that's how it should work yes and but just to be clear we, we don't get regularly paid by dales we, do. <laughs> we no, did a project with them and the same with george smith we've we've got a partnership with them but nothing no money has exchanged hands um but that was a digression <laughs> but yeah but I mean, it's interesting to chat about yeah. isn't it little charlie tangent but actually i would say at least 70 percent of the brands we work with is because like either we you or before. i bought the product first yeah and then the brands are like, oh, we've seen people buying things yeah. as a result of this. And of course, like there's Beauty unique. Beauty Pie, like. But there's um, unique situations like Ocean Bottle, isn't there? Yeah. Where we, bought we weren't that. customers. They no, we were. Well, hang on. No, I bought it. Um, I bought my first Ocean Bottle on Amazon. Oh. Yeah, years ago. Right. Like two years ago. And yeah. I, I took it to Kefloni with but me. I was going to use them as an example for me. Mm. They contacted us about a great product launch. Mm. We then tried it as a gift and then mm. we worked with them. So it worked both ways. Yeah, no, oh, I was a customer first. Right. Anyway, yeah. right, Dale's for plates that we have... Purchased. <laughs> yeah, but we purchased these ages ago, and we were, like, saving them for special occasions. Yeah, that's and we never one used of my them. mottos in life, is just no. don't save anything for special. We've, we've, we're now trying to live by that. Yeah. So it's sort of broken open, this, but it's... Uh, where's the recipe card? Do you know what? One brand that I would never have heard of if they hadn't come into my inbox is actually 
Thermomix. I had never heard of Thermomix, and now I'm like number one cheerleader of Thermomix. I think what's funny is when it's a brand, Wild Nutrition's a good example. Yeah. So we lived in London, and I found Wild Nutrition online when I think I was searching for like really high quality vitamins, because I was sick of Wellman and brands like that. Yeah. And who I had worked with, but then I found out research-wise that they aren't actually necessarily as good as they say. Mm. So then um, found Wild Nutrition, thought nothing of it. I've been taking, I think I was just magnesium. taking vitamin D and magnesium. And then suddenly you were like, oh, this brand has approached me about working with them and they sound amazing. And I'm like, literally, I'm well, already a customer. I probably wouldn't have even read the email had I not seen it in, your, in the cupboard. Like, I recognised oh, okay. it from being in the cupboard because we get so many supplement emails, don't we? Right, anyway, so oh, that is spinach ravioli with induja. Induja. Scarmosa, which is a type of cheese, oh. and pork shoulder with sage butter. I thought you said it wasn't meat. I didn't think it was meaty, but it is, but it smells and sounds amazing. Good job we didn't serve this to Molly, thinking it was all vegan. No. Well, well it's got cheese in it, so it wouldn't have been. is rarely vegan. Yes. Ooh, I'm hungry. We got forks out yet? Fork off, mate. Fork off, mate. Do you want any more, or is that plenty? Um... I think that'll be sufficiente. And it's quite a lot Did you toast any pine nuts? No, because it. <gasps> it I, 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 do you don't know what? get the service I don't these tend days. To um, to know. add things to these dishes because they've been carefully curated. Right. And it just seems a bit silly to. Okay. Change them. Right, I'm gonna eat now. Cheese on yours. If I ever say no to that question, then there's something Cheating. wrong with me. Yeah. Right. Cheese, please. Oh. <laughs> right. Yamarillo. Yamarillo, let me go. You're lovely and quite clueless. Boop. our third day this week having the huevos rancheros mix. Slightly different combination. <laughs> different combination. Every day we've done it a bit differently haven't we? We have. So on Thursday when we learnt how to do it at Dalesford we had it with poached eggs and avocado. Yesterday we just had avocado and today we're having poached eggs and no avocado but we are having asparagus. It is asparagus season so we're making the most of it. And this is the lovely, in fact, I can tell you exactly what it is because we've got the recipe card somewhere over here. Can't find the recipe, but it was onions and olive oil it's cooked really for like an hour to sweeten the onions. And then uh, tomato. Or is it just canned tomato? So it's, yeah, so it's onion and garlic. You don't need to cook it for quite an hour, but just... The longer the better. Caramelise it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then it's, um, this is for four people. So it was two tins of mixed beans. Mm -hmm. So you've got like, you've got loads of different beans in there. Really good for vegans or vegetarians. Mm. It's a brunch option. There's lots of protein in that. And then it is two, two cans of chopped tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And then just a, a really good amount of seasoning. A little bit of cumin, a little bit of cayenne, uh, sorry, cumin, smoked paprika and coriander. Mm. Then we've we've got asparagus today. Actually, sorry, just need a bit of lemon on there. Nice. Asparagus, which is obviously in season, which is nice. I always really look forward to it when it's asparagus season because we don't really eat it when it's out of season, do we? No. Um, which I think is the beauty of eating seasonally, because then you really look forward to it when it's there. Mm -hmm. I'm, not big, I'm not big into doing poached eggs, or particularly good at them, so let's see what this is like. As long as they're not runny. So there we go, a nice, healthy, hopefully very filling brunch. quick proper good morning to my darlings it is sunday morning we started the day with a nice stretch in the gym and a lovely hearty brunch we are now 
in Chipping Camden and I think the plan we're gonna catch up with friends and go for a little a little walk through town. Sunday stroll. Sunday stroll. <laughs> That's the plan <laughs> for the day. Um, and then we're gonna go and see George and Petra for a Sunday roast. So a very social Sunday. Charlie and I are in an excellent mood this morning because over brunch, um, I always just like skip through a few emails, like the spammy Sunday emails. And normally, I have to be honest, emails from the pig, I normally just delete and ignore. But something made me check their emails this morning and they were talking about new openings. And Charlie and I are both very, very excited because they are actually opening a pig really close to us. It, it could be within 15 minute drive of our house and we just Obviously, love the pig hotels. The pig hotels. Yeah. Um, so that is exceptionally exciting news. Another amazing place to eat near where we live. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. We're going to be sport for choice. Ainho, Ainsham, Farmhouse, Dalesford, Bamford the Club. pig, Bamford Club, the fox. all of the country creatures, wild rabbits, rabbit, all of We're the things that um, all the things that Carol Bamford is opening. Yeah. Honestly, we don't even need to do the sales pitch to our friends anymore to move to the Cotswolds because. There's just it's so much happening. going on here. Anyway, we've actually just got to our friend's house. So we're going to go and do some serious kissing of tiny little squidgy faces and then head out for a little stroll. Oh my gosh. Should we go outside? Should we go outside? Come on then. Come on then, my babies. And we are back home again, but not for long because we are heading out for a Sunday roast now with George and Petra. But we took a lovely stroll into Chipping Camden with Ben and Robin, had lots of wonderful kisses with the twins who are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we had a nice brunch, which I think I filmed a little clip of, and then took a stroll around the churchyard. The church in Chipping Camden is beautiful. It's really big, gorgeous. Um, trees and like a big long avenue as you walk up to the church it would be very wonderful for a Cotswold wedding. We also over brunch were doing a little bit of Sherlock, Sherlock Holmesing on this new The Pig because we're all very excited for somewhere, somewhere new and wonderful for dinners and for our friends to come and stay at and we reckon we found that it's um, a place called Thornton Manor because we were typing in 16th century manor houses with 53 acres and that one came up so I think we're probably correct in our Sherlock Holmes work so we're just gonna have a little bit of fresh air with the doggies and then head to the Fox for a Sunday we made it to our favourite Fox back home again. I have not <laughs> been particularly good at vlogging today but we've just had lots of lovely time with friends and family today so it's been a perfect Sunday. I've come now to my happy place and I'm just going to do a little bit of seed sowing. Just literally, do you remember yesterday I showed you this uh, container which is now full of <laughs> loo roll tubes because I really need to get my runner beans planted. So I'm going to do that very quickly now. It'll take me less than five minutes, but a few of my favorites have uploaded YouTube videos. So I'm just gonna pop on, I think I'm gonna watch Susie while I spend 20 minutes or so here in the greenhouse. I've bought some extra loo roll tubes from the house, anything with a tap root. So anything that is from the bean or some kinds of peas as well, like sweet peas that have got long roots. They love growing in loo roll tubes. So that's what I have done for the last few years. My broad beans that are in the loo roll tubes because these will decompose are already out in the garden. In fact, I'll go and check on those in a second. And I also need to water everything. I've bought my photo album, <laughs> my seed sowing photo album, just to double check that there's no more April seeds that I am forgetting about. So here are the loo roll tubes with the compost. I'm just going to press some runner bean seeds in there um, and then I'll gather a few more ready to do some more in the week. So let's take a look in here. 
I always remember there's so much I still need to sew, but it's very easy to get carried away. Um, hmm, okay. Ooh, I can do the large charge now. I might do a few of those in a little seed tray. Um, obviously courgettes, it's that time of year as well. Marrow, um, ooh, early maturing marrow. Maybe I'll do a couple of those because we love a marrow. It's also the time of year to plant your pumpkins, I think. I'm going to do a few of these for George and Patras because they've basically got a side garden which is very overlooked by their neighbours. So we reckon that they should turn it into a pumpkin patch. Oh, look, I've got loads of pumpkins. Okay, this is fantastic. Yes, definitely need to do a few variety of pumpkin. This would be so amazing if all of these produced giant gourds this Halloween. But where are my runner beans? That is the question. Hmm. They must be somewhere else. Okay, panic over. I have found my bean stash. So we have got climbing French bean, purple dwarf French bean, runner bean, um, another climbing bean. I think this is another runner bean. These ones got a bit stringy last year. Runner bean. I know that that seed packet is a good few years old. Another climbing French. So what do I do today? Let's do a selection of climbing, shall I? So I'll do these three climbing, but I wonder if I should do only one type in each pot and just do a few more pots like this. Hmm. Are all of these ready to be sown in April, I wonder? I think so. Right, I'm gonna put some YouTube on and get sewing. My little bucket down here is done with the little runner beans planted. Always, um, can I find one to show you? When you're planting, let me just show you. When you are planting beans, oh, that can't be the packet I've just used because that was hard to open, hang on. There we go, this one. I did the Cobra French beans. These are little black beans, and can you see it's got, oops, can you see there, it's got a little eye, but it doesn't have that on the other side. Excuse my bare nails, I've decided I'm just gonna leave them natural for a few days. That little eye is where the root's going to come from, so you want to sew them upside down so the root can grow downwards, and the little bean doesn't need to use up all of its energy twisting itself around in the soil. So there's a little tip. Um, and now I am making up my second bucket, but I need to go on a little scavenger hunt around the house and get some more <laughs> empty loo roll tubes. I'm sure I'll be able to find some somewhere so that I can do another round of um, beans. Well, that was not a very fruitful search around the house for toilet roll tubes. I only found one. I searched, how many bathrooms do we have? Like eight bathrooms and only found one loo roll tube. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wait until I've got a few more to do more beans. But I'm going to just um, fill this with compost and put a few different pumpkins in. I'll only plant one seed per pumpkin type just because I want to get started with one of each. We'll see how they germinate. And then I might make a trip to Burford Garden Centre or Burford Garden Company tomorrow and get a few more of these. They are from... What is the company? Plastic Free Gardening? Do you know what? There is not a company name on here. How strange. Natural rubber... I don't know, if I can find these, I will leave them linked down below. Charlie actually got me these in my stocking, and they're really good plug uh, sizes for pumpkins and courgettes. You do need to grow them in quite large containers. So I'll do that as my final gardening chore of the day. Well, I feel like that's enough gardening for one vlog. I probably could have pinched out my sweet peas this afternoon, but it's actually half past seven, and I think Charlie and I are just gonna find something new to watch on TV. We are actually in a bit of a stuck place. We 
have finished everything that we were watching and we just want something new that's like a silly, easy, kind of don't really need to think about it thing to watch in the evenings. We love stuff like Modern Family, which is obviously finished. The Office, obviously finished and watched them a million times. Gavin and Stacey, you know, those kinds of vibes. I'm not a huge fan of Schitt's Creek. Um, so if you've got any recommendations, then please let me know. I'm probably going to take my makeup off in a second, but first I just want to do five minutes of tidying up my dressing room. It's just, you know, hair dryer out, clothes out, etc. And I'm going to put together my gym bag for tomorrow morning, including the outfit that I'll wear after I've been to the gym. I'm doing a double whammy tomorrow. I'm going to do reformer pilates and then bar back to back. Um, and then I might go for a swim and then I think I'll go to Burford Garden company so yes i need to just get myself organized and what i also like to do on a sunday afternoon or evening is schedule some emails i'm not very good at staying on top of my emails on friday afternoons we're normally out of office like doing something productive like this time we were getting george and petra's house ready for them um so there's often some emails that come in on a friday afternoon that i like to schedule my replies to go out at 8 a.m on a monday morning so i'm gonna get cracking with that but first just a little, a little tidy up is required. Okay, kind of random, <laughs> um, but while I was on the scavenger hunt for the loo roll tubes, I for one minute thought I would do an empties video, or like an empties kind of throwback, but I'm just, I'm just not gonna keep a bag next to my bin to save beauty products. So I'm just gonna show you three products which I've emptied lately. This is the hair range that I'm loving the most at the moment. It is the Color Motion range from Wella. It just means that I don't need to go to the hairdresser quite so often because it keeps my color looking exactly how it does after a salon treatment. Oskia Super C Vitamin C Capsules in the mornings. These are just amazing. They're such a treat to use because they smell so good. Great for brightening the skin and lots of other benefits. And then Charlie and I have both had some really random blemishes lately. Um, so we've been using these spot dots patches, pimple patches from Beauty Pie. And they are absolutely amazing. So we've just finished off another box of those. So there we go. I can throw these back in the bin now. And you won't be seeing an empties video from me anytime soon. 